Today we're going to take a look at the onboarding agility framework using an application built using the framework that represents something that a bank or other institution might produce on their own as a standalone application or something that might be embedded into an existing application. Our prospective new customer, Laura, begins the process and is presented with four simple steps to opening an account using only an ID that she has in her wallet. When Laura launches the camera, she's provided feedback messages that guide her into taking a better picture. In addition, the framework is checking for things like lighting illumination, levelness, and motion, also ensuring a better picture is captured. Once the proper conditions are met, the camera is fired automatically so she doesn't have to touch a button, and we move on to the barcode capture on the back side of the ID. As with camera capture, barcode capture happens automatically and the application moves on to the next step. Here we'll ask Laura to add additional information such as her social security number and her phone number which wouldn't normally be found on her ID. If this information could be gathered from another third party source, the platform could definitely integrate it and fill that in for her. We'll also ask her some questions about her financial objectives and her financial position to better enable us to match her to products being offered. We'll then present Laura with all the information we've aggregated to this point, where she can review it and make any corrections necessary. She'll also choose logon credentials for her account and also can choose her preferred method of communication, whether that be email, SMS, or a push notification to the application. Laura then agrees to the terms and conditions and clicks apply. We now have enough information to begin the verification process of what she's entered. Using an integration with a credit bureau, a recommendation is returned to verify a previous address. If the incorrect answer is chosen, an exception process is triggered. We now transition to an internal employee's dashboard where Laura's application can be reviewed. Using the information Laura has submitted, business rules have been executed along with a credit verification check which came back with a recommendation for address verification. That was the source of our out-of-wallet question during uh, the interaction with Laura. You can see here it's clearly indicated that she's answered that question incorrectly which has triggered this exception process. The Bank Associates dashboard allows him to very easily add additional document requests to verify some of the exceptions that may occur during this process. In this example, we're going to use a proof of address and we're going to request that it be submitted immediately. The bank associate then has the ability to add additional documents if required by business rules or just to initiate the request. The request is custom tailored to each individual applicant and will be delivered according to their channel of choice. In our case, Laura will receive an email requesting a proof of address. After receiving notification that additional information may be required, Laura, who's still logged into her application, simply refreshes the screen and sees that proof of address has been requested. She can capture a bill simply by hovering over it in the same way that she had captured her ID previously. When she's satisfied that the bill has been captured successfully, she simply taps accept and business rules are run which will verify the address and add this as an additional document to her application. Due to the defined business rules, this type of exception requires manual review and Laura will be notified if additional information is requested. Once Laura has submitted her document, we're back at our Bank Associates dashboard where her application can again be reviewed. As you can see, the proof of address has been received, it's passed all the checks that we have for name and address, and the reviewer can simply click on it to review and make sure that everything is as it should be. As long as he's satisfied, he simply closes the document and can then approve the application, and Laura will receive a notification that a signing ceremony needs to be completed. Having received notification that she's qualified for an account at Bankrite, Laura logs back into her application to see what remains to be done. Here we see Laura has qualified for the premium savings and checking account. All she needs to do to complete the application is electronically sign the form that we've generated behind the scenes 
pre-filled with all of her information that she's entered up to this point. She clicks into the box and can sign right on her tablet. When she's satisfied with the signature, she just clicks the green check, it's applied to the document, and then she submits the document for retention with her account. The next and final step is funding the account. She's offered several methods to do this, and she's going to choose check deposit, and again use her camera to capture a check to deposit and fund her account. Again, all she needs to do is hover over the document. It's automatically captured. Routing information and amount are extracted, and the account is funded. In summary, using Total Agility platform and framework technologies such as document acquisition, data extraction, integration with outside sources for verification, document generation, and electronic signature, we were able to open and fund an account in less than five minutes.